Good morning guys, welcome back to Lick Branch Farms. It is Saturday, June the 15th, and today is market day. I figured I'd take you guys along with me and Jace, and we're gonna go to Moore County today. Betsy normally does Moore County on Saturdays, but she got up a little, feeling under the weather this morning, so she's not gonna go, so me and Jace are gonna take her van and we're gonna go to Moore County. But I'm gonna show you what goes into getting ready for that and what we do once we get in the market and how everything comes about when we get there right after this. All right, so we're getting ready to go. I got everything loaded up in here, and you can see we got our lettuces, we got tomatoes, I got cucumbers, green tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, cherry tomatoes, bell peppers, and some patty pan. There's also some potatoes over there, and there's a few odds and ends. I think there's some some more tomatoes, but yeah, this is kind of where we're headed um, right now with what's growing on the farm, and you can see we got squash, zucchini more cherry tomatoes and yeah we bought this van a couple months ago just to do market with and it's worked out great because you can pack a ton of stuff in this thing and plus basically can kind of keep her stuff here that she uses every market and not have to keep taking things and out you know off the back of the truck and all that stuff so yeah it's been working out great so i'm gonna get jace and we're gonna get in this thing and we're gonna head to moore county you ready all right, here we go. I got Jace with me today. He's uh, he helps me at market on Saturday when we go to Rayford. He stayed last night, so he's uh, he's on board for Moore County. He likes Moore County anyway, don't you? <laughs> All right, so we're going. It takes about 35, 45 minutes to get to market. Um, it's a eight to twelve market. It's quarter to seven now, so we got plenty of time to get in there. And. Uh, Moore County is a growers only market, meaning that you can only sell what you grow on your farm. Um, it is a really busy market this time of year. And we have two markets in Moore County. We do one on Thursdays, which is a year round market. And then we got this Saturday market that run, runs from mid March till late November. So it's almost a seasonal thing, but the market that we're going to today, a lot of people are gonna come through there. They have musicians, they have, you know, like demos for restaurants and things of that nature. So it's a big deal. It's one of, it is the biggest market that we attend. Um, it's one of our better markets. So that's what kind of keeps our farm going. Yeah, we attend several growers only markets. We go to one in Asheboro. Well, we haven't this year so far, but we're going to. Um, last year we attended that market weekly and it was a growers only market. Uh, you had to have grower certification. Your corporate or county extension had to come out and you know look and see what you were growing and sign off on it and yeah that was a pretty big deal too but we haven't attended that one yet it's a little bit further it's about an hour drive from us but we met a lot of great people up there and we look forward to going back this year but one of the reasons that i actually got into doing youtube videos was because of markets and you know being able to show people what we were growing on the farm and kind of you know promote the markets and give them a kind of insight in what we were growing and how we were growing it and things that we did because you don't believe in many people that says that you, know, you don't grow that out there you don't grow all this stuff out here well yeah we do i mean and you can go watch the video and you can see what we grow so that was a big reason that you know youtube became a part of our farm and you know we're glad we did because you know we enjoy bringing that kind of content to you guys on you know, highway number one going north and fixing the past the old rocking amp speedway used to have a lot of nascar racing and stuff here not so much anymore though you did truck racing here for a while but i don't think it'll ever be what it once was Mm. 
Peaches. They got peaches today. Our spot's waiting on us. Yeah, we got to squeeze in the middle there. So, hadn't even got it set up good yet. But yeah, bring some more over here, just Kind of give you guys an idea. We got everything that's tomatoes, cucumbers, jalapenos, peppers, lettuce, onions, basically weighing out potatoes, which that's way too many. That's uh -huh. perfect. There you go. Put one or two more in here. Green tomatoes, zucchinis, cherry tomatoes, and those things are flying out of here. So, yeah, and it's just getting started good. I really. I don't even think market started yet. It starts at eight, and it is eight seventeen, and we've been wide open for what twenty minutes now. So. All right, so we made it through the halfway point and started pulling tables down, consolidating everything. So this is pretty much what we got left. A little bit of lettuce, a little bit of green onions, onion, zucchini, few tomatoes, and this is all the tomatoes. We took this table down earlier. But we got uh, another hour and a half, and normally in the afternoon, well, I'll say in the afternoon, normally later in the morning is when we do most of our business because everybody's finally getting up, moving around. But today, and not been as busy as it normally is, but um, still, nonetheless, we've got rid of everything we just about brought with us, so. So we just got packed up and we didn't bring a whole lot back. Um, kind of give you a better idea when we get home. I'm trying to rush to get out of here. The market here once it's over with. We got to be gone within like 30 minutes, but I don't know. I don't know if you can see back there. A whole lot of empty boxes, but we are bringing a few tomatoes back with us, but we took a lot with us anyway, so that's kind of expected. But let me get on the road and then we'll pick this back up. I gotta turn the air conditioner down for a minute so you can hear me, but. Yeah, we just left. We're coming through town now, headed back home. We got about a 30 minute drive. Um, we're gonna eat us up when we get home, then we're gonna unload this vehicle and get everything put away um, and get ready for the next one. But yeah, that's what we do every Saturday. That market's pretty consistent. Today was not as busy as I've seen it, but this is Moore County, this is Southern Pines, this is Pinehurst area, and the US Open is happening this weekend, so most of you know the people that normally visit the market were probably at the golf courses today so that's to be expected but overall i feel like we did pretty good um i haven't did a final tally yet and um i know a number i got a number in my head that we use to kind of judge how we did and i know we're at that and probably a little more so you know um it was a big plus it's going to pay off and like i said this is one of the markets that we do from early March until late November and the vendors and 
you know the customers alike are pretty loyal to this market they they come rain or shine and we've always been happy with it because of that so i'm gonna cut this ac back on and we're gonna get on down the road and get home and get us something to eat you know look that boy's hot there's a park right beside the market and him and his buddy was out there playing most of the time he did help out a lot today he sold a lot of tomatoes didn't he so he gets paid today <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back at the farm. Got everything unloaded out of the van, and I just came down here to cut on the irrigation because it is hot out here. Right now, we're sitting on 100 degrees in this tunnel, and that's with the fans going and all the doors open, so it's humid too, really humid. But, well, guys, I think this is where we're going to end the video. I got to get busy, and if you missed the video when we started our year off, the first market of 2024, I'm going to put a link to it up here. And if you found anything useful, anything entertaining, or you just want to know more about our farm, click this subscribe button over here in the corner. As always, guys, we appreciate you stopping by. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.